Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a terrain and world machine and import it to Unreal Engine 4 and texture the terrain. Okay, so uh, like we're gonna start here. So here we have uh, the default terrain. I'm just going to make a terrain that I like. Got some Varnoi or Varnoi and we're going to scale this down a little like that. Now we're going to put some erosion like this and what else do we want? We can put some around there. We can put some purlin on it too. Like this. Okay. Now we have a pretty okay terrain over here. So, um, let's just uh, do a height output and we're going to export it in RAW 16 and we're going to just place it on our desktop. So, right output to disk. Uh, yes, let's just build the world. And that should be written perfectly. And then we have to have another output which will be the bitmap output. And uh, let's just take like this. No, wait, that's completely wrong, sorry. Um, we need a splat map. So let's go to the macros and open the macro folder and do a basic coverage. Let's load this macro. And then put that in here. So now we'll get the this thing here. But we don't want this, so we're going to go into that. And we're going to change the sand to red. Like that, so 25500. Zero, zero. And then the rock we're going to put to green, so 02550. Zero, five, five, zero. And then the erosion and vegetation we're just going to put to blue. So 002550. Zero, zero, five, five, like that. And if you want like an extra cool effect, you can just do like the flow map into the erosion input. And there we have it. So now we have this splat map here. So now uh, we're going to export this splat map uh, into a bitmap output like that. And then we're going to put it in um, Unreal Engine content. So I'm going to put a new one. Terrain. Oh. Terrain. And then splat. And we'll make that a PNG actually. So like that. And then right output to disk and build. And then it's written. Okay. So we can jump into. Um, um, Unreal Engine again, and then here we take the landscape and then we press import from file. Here we're going to select the raw file we exported from World Machine. So, uh, output. And so you can see, um, yeah. Okay, I don't, I'm going to put this to 513 by 5. 13. It shows up as 505 uh, by 505 anyway, so because this is the imported. So here uh, I'm just going to resize it 200 by 200 by 200, actually by 100, and then import that height map. So there we have a height map in Unreal Engine. Uh, first, I'm just going to add a skylight. And then I'm going to make this light source movable. So now we have a pretty lighting too. Okay, okay. So, on to the material. We'll go into uh, terrain and here we have the split map we ex exported. Uh, and then we're going to right click and create a new material. Let's just call this terrain material. Ah, uh, okay. So I've opened that one, 
and yeah so now you just drag in split map so now we have the split map um, yeah so now landscape coordinates landscape layer coordinates we're going to just put this in like that and we're gonna duplicate that and have two of these so here uh, this one in the mapping scale we're going to put it to the import size from Unreal Engine so ours was 505 then we're going to drag this into the UV and then uh, okay I'm getting a bit tired of talking <laughs> So now we're going to have a, a new one because look in here we can see in the um, in the what's it called and world machine that the erosion is like the blue lines and on top of the mountains is the red. Let's just look here in the basic coverage, the sand, the rock, and the vegetation. So basically, in uh, the sand, uh, actually, with uh, the vegetation and erosion, that's blue, so we're just going to put grass in blue. And then in sand, we're going to put red and rock to green. So here, let's put, let's take the starter content. You have to have star, star content. So let's go to uh, grass. I will just drag grass into there like that. Actually, we'll have that on the bottom because it's the green one. No, it's the blue one. I mean, and then we'll get the um, grass normal map in here too. Okay, so now we have the grass and the grass normal map, and we're going to get sand or well, the rock sandstone, and we're going to put that in uh, red so bit up and then we're going to have the sandstone normal map a bit down here and then the last thing we're going to have is rock so rock we're going to use the rock basalt and then we drag that in here and we drag the basalt rock normal map in okay Sorry about the little screen here. Here we go. And then we take this landscape chords, the second one, and put like 20. And we're going to drag this into all of these uh, textures. There we go. And then we're going to have a landscape layer blend. And we're going to add three uh, layers for each texture. And we're going to have one sand, one rock, and one grass. And they're all going to be height blend layers. Uh, there and 0.5 in the preview weight like that and then we can just copy this one down here and drag it down here so we'll take the um, the sand into the sand, the rock into rock grass into grass and do the same for the normal maps like that and then we drag this one into the base color and this one into the normal. Okay, so here we took the hand height sand, drag it into red, height rock, drag it into green, height grass, drag it into blue, and then we do the same for this one. So height sand, red, height rock, green, height grass, blue, and we'll just hold one and click two times and we'll get these constants. And I'll put this to 0 0.5 and this one to 0 0.8 and drag that into the specular and the roughness like that. And then we'll apply this. 
And then if we go back to here and go to our material, the terrain material. Uh, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so what you do now is you get this terrain material that you just made and you press the landscape and in here on the landscape material you just drag this in and you have your terrain materials. So I'm just going to let that compile the shaders. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. So let me just wait for that. You can also just replace the textures because the sand looked kind of dumb here. Okay. So we're waiting for it to compile the shaders now. Actually, while uh, I do that, I can just test it out here. Oh, yeah. So it works in game. Yeah, and you can you can also sculpt it like no problem. Come on, why does this compilation take a little long time? There we go. Okay, now that we play, should look very good. Now I can just jump a bit around with my grappling hook. Yeah. So there you have my uh, Unreal Engine workflow with World Machine. Uh, thanks for watching. This is my first week with uh, Unreal Engine, so I'm not too good yet. So yeah. See you later. Subscribe, like, comment. Bye.